Okay, in this problem, <clears throat> we've got 1.6 grams of C10H8 are dissolved in 20 grams of benzene. Freezing point of pure benzene is 5.5 degrees Celsius. This mixture's freezing point is 2.8 degrees Celsius. What is the freezing point depression constant of benzene? This is the equation you have to use when it comes to freezing point depression problems. Delta T is equal to KF times this little m times I. I'm going to explain what each of these terms mean. So it's both, and we'll do it one by one, by one here. So first, delta T. Delta T is equivalent to the freezing point of the pure solvent minus the freezing point of the solution. So in this case, the freezing point, so let me write that out. The freezing point of the pure solvent minus the freezing point of the solution. So the pure solvent, in this case we have benzene, and the solution is the C10H8 mixed with benzene. Um, remember that a solvent is basically the stuff you're putting something into. So in this case we have the solute over here, C10H8, and the solvent being benzene. So in this case our delta T is equivalent to 5.5 minus 2.8. And that's because um, your pure benzene has a freezing point of 5.5, and the mixture we find has a freezing point of 2.8. So let me rewrite this here. So again, the 5.5 minus 2.8 and we subtract those two that gives you 2.7 degrees C. So again 5.5 the uh, freezing point of the solvent pure solvent 2.8 is the freezing point of the solution or the mixture the benzene plus the C10H8. Um, KF is what we are finding here that's the freezing point depression constant KF it's a freezing point depression constant and then this little m is molality molality if you recall is equivalent to moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent it's like the uh, sister of molality or of, uh, of molarity Molality is like the sister of molarity. And then I is the Van't Hoff factor, which we don't have to worry about here. The Van't Hoff factor usually has to do with, um, well, in this case, Van't Hoff factor is just one, so we don't worry about it. But it usually has to do with how many ions can you make. So if, it, if you had a reaction that involved NaCl and the NaCl dissociated, well, you can make Na ions and Cl ions. So then, in this case, the Van Hoff factor would be two. So it's a little different. In this case, in this scenario, we don't have to worry about it. And from the problems I've seen, you you rarely have to worry about the Van Hoff factor. I guess it just depends, really. So okay, so we got our delta T. We are looking for KF. So obviously, we're going to have to use molarity somehow to find. Um, to plug it into this equation and to find KF, to work backwards and find KF. So how can we get moles of solute and kilograms of solvent? So again, solute is the C10H8, the solvent is the benzene. So could we find the moles of C10H8? Sure, sure we can. All we got, we're given grams, so we're given 1.6 grams. So we can convert that to moles, that's not too bad. So first, we're going to find um, the moles of solute. So let's do that first. So start with just the number they give you, 1.6 grams of C10H8. And what we want to do is we want to multiply it by a conversion factor. And in this case, we are trying to get moles of C10H8. 
and we're going to get rid of this grams of C10 H8. This is also known as dimensional analysis. So in this case, your grams of C10H8 is just the molar mass of C10H8. That's, so that's the mass of 10 carbons plus the mass of 8 hydrogens. Each car, uh, carbon has a mass of 12. Hydrogen has a mass of 1.01. .01. So if you were to do the multiplication, add it all up, you would get 128.19 grams of C10H8, and that's for every one mole. You do that math and you get 0 0.0125 and this is now moles of C10 H8. So now we have this number here. So let's uh, make some room here and plug it in. So 0 0.0125 moles of C10 H8. All right. So we have our moles of solute. Now we just gotta find our kilograms of solvent. So that's next. So what can we do here? Well, our solvent's benzene. We're, we're given 20 grams of benzene. Um, this is relatively easy because all you gotta do is find kilograms. So all we have to do is just put kilograms on top. We wanna get rid of grams. We want that to cancel out. So for every one kilogram, you have 1,000 grams. You will get 0 0.002 kilograms of benzene. So now we can erase this here and plug in benzene. So all of a sudden we have, we set up and now we have molarity. So when you work this out, you will get 0 0.625. So that's now our molarity that we can use to plug into this reaction, to, into this equation here. So let's set that up. So we got our delta T, that's 2.7 degrees C. We are looking for KF. We found our molality. And the Van Toff factor is just one, so we're not going to worry about it. So we have it all set up. When you work that out, you will get KF is equal to 4.32. I believe the units for that are degrees Celsius per molal. So that's that. This problem really isn't too bad. It's really just a way to get you used to using this equation here. So really you want to, let's get to one that's more, a little more difficult. So this problem says calculate the weight of ethyl ether required to mix with 0 0.8 liters of water to make an aqueous solution which has a freezing point of 